10 Best Restaurants in Asheville, NC, for all tastes. Enjoy discovering these top 10 favorites, which are really just the beginning of a long love affair with Asheville's many culinary delights. Number 10. Baby Bull. This super casual, walk-up joint has just six entrees, an all-or-nothing, substitution rule, and a spare rotation of specials. Really, though, just order the cheeseburger and fries. The burger, held together by a potato bun, is the perfect combination of grease, melted cheese, and tangy sauce, and the fries come with a delicious aioli. If you must deviate from our instructions, the lobster roll and vada pav are both stellar options. Enjoy your meal at the picnic tables outside or in the dining room, which has a vintage Americana charm. Number 9. Sunny Point Cafe. The lines at this brunch spot are absurd, but Sunny Point's garden courtyard and picnic tables turn the wait into an event of its own. You should occupy yourself with generously poured mimosas and baked goods like scones, biscuits, and muffins. By the time you're seated, we can't promise you'll be the same person you were when you arrived. But southern farm-to-table staples like the fried chicken biscuit, carrot hotcakes, and pecan-crusted fried green tomato sandwich will make you new again. If you simply aren't willing to wait, you can also snag coffee and pastries from the new on-site bakery rabbit hole. After your meal, check out the shops on Haywood Street, such as Harvest Records, Morgan's Comics, Flora, and the local 604 Bottle Shop. Number 8. The Admiral. The Admiral is located in a cinder block building in West Asheville. The Admiral's space has a surprising blend of nautical decor, antique tin ceilings, and polished mahogany furniture. The menu toes the line between one you might find at a white tablecloth steakhouse and a new American spot. They nail classics like beef tartare and seared scallops. But it's the dishes like the pork belly funnel cake, bonito sake mussels, and off-the-wall salads that really make the restaurant fun. Over the last decade, despite going through some leadership changes, the Admiral still has plenty of charm, and it's hard to not feel cool when you're eating here. Stop by Dive Bar The Double Crown after dinner for the full West Asheville experience. Number 7. Cucina 24. If you're somebody who binge-watched Stanley Tucci trot around Italy, there's a high probability you'll love this spot. The dining room feels romantic, with warm orange lights, exposed brick walls, and intimate seating options. The menu focuses on multi-regional Italian food with Appalachian ingredients, combining Sicilian, anchovy-punched pasta dishes and heartier platters of roasted meats and ragu. But Cucina's real star is the wood-fired oven, which churns out whole bronzino, roast chicken, and porchetta with a crackling skin and juicy interior. Try the chef's tasting menu if all of this sounds simply too good to pass up. And consider ending your evening with a nightcap at Contrada, which is only a quick stroll down the cobblestoned Wall Street. Number 6. All Souls Pizza. Retro lighting, a relaxed, minimalist atmosphere make All Souls the perfect place to come with a group or for a casual dinner date after spending the day floating down the French Broad River. In the spring and summer, you can also take your pie outside to the picnic-style seating in the Serene River Arts District. Even if you're one of those people who regularly toss aside their crust, which we'll never understand, we bet you'll end up devouring every edge of this springy sourdough, which gets its tang from heirloom wheat that's milled into flour on site. The toppings go the extra mile, too, with fresh artichokes, leeks, and foraged mushrooms. Consider asking them to top your pizza with an egg, and definitely don't pass up the dark chocolate soft serve. Number 5. Buxton Hall. A trip to North Carolina isn't complete without barbecue. After wandering through the many craft breweries on the South Slope, come to Buxton Hall, a sister restaurant to Chai Pani and one of the finest new school smokehouses in town. 
to devour a tangy, vinegar-infused pile of Eastern-style smoked pork. It's located in a historic paper building with expansive ceilings and plenty of industrial-style seating, making it a solid choice for a casual lunch with family or friends. As for the pigs, they're butchered in-house and smoked over wood for about 18 hours. The result is a juicy, shreddy, fatty wonderland of flavor, perfect on a sandwich or as a platter with collard greens, corn pudding, and other sides. Another great choice is the buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. A handheld meal so popular that it's become its own spin-off chicken shack, Buxton Chicken Palace, available at the nearby S&W market. Number 4. Vivian. If Julia Child cooked like a southern belle, the result would be something like Vivian. In practice, that means rich dishes like the Nordic deviled eggs, smoked oysters, crab dip, and scallop quenelle. Making this cerulean blue dining room the perfect bet for a romantic dinner. There are also less buttery options. Though if you ask to substitute dairy out of anything, you'll get shut down. Local produce and Carolina caught seafood really shine in the salade de saison, the seasonal crudo dish, and the seared tilefish that's always on the menu. While dinner is main draw, the weekly Sunday brunch, which offers everything from French pastry boards and lobster parfait to fried chicken biscuits, is another great time to stop by. Number 3. Chai Pani. Chai Pani forever changed Asheville's dining scene when it began serving Indian street food dishes like chaat, pakora, sloppy jay, and uttapam back in 2009. The owner, who grew up in Ahmednagar, India, helped popularize Indian street food throughout the American South, and has since expanded with an Atlanta location and a retail shop Spicewala, which you can find down the street. Be warned that there's no reservation system and the line regularly creeps halfway down the block, so you'll probably have to plan your day around getting a table, or at least an hour to secure takeout. It'll wholeheartedly be worth it, though, especially when you taste the okra fries. Number 2. Kultura. You'll find moon-like orbs hanging from the ceiling and edible mushrooms growing on the walls at this new American restaurant. Once you peel your eyes away from the plants and stunning interior, where, yes, you can eat inside a giant wine barrel, you'll find an excellent menu. Try to come on a Friday or Saturday for the six-course chef's tasting menu, which is heavy on ferments, as well as dishes inspired by local chefs who have cooked in the restaurant as part of the Cultivated Community Dinner Series. A recent example of this concept is in the Zapoteca heirloom beans, brought from Oaxaca by local chef Luis Martinez, that come topped with mole, smoked chicken, and cured egg yolk. Number 1. Leo's House of Thirst. Leo's House of Thirst delivers food that tastes as beautiful as it looks. With vegetable-centric small plates and house-made pasta dishes that arrive topped with edible flowers, fresh herbs, and pollen. Other, meatier menu hits include the smoked honey and bacon deviled eggs, steak tartare, and a cubano that comes on a baguette. Located in an artfully renovated, historic cinder block building, Leo's also has a covered patio and garden lined with twinkly lights and wooden walls of ivy. On sunny days, it's the perfect place to linger with friends, snacking away the day in cottagecore bliss.